There will be a memorial today in Washington for the late Neil Armstrong. And ironically on this day, there's talk that we may be going back to the moon. Andy Pastor now joins us from LA. Andy, really? What, 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 what spawns this? Where does this come from? Good morning. It is a little bit uh, ironic. As you say, 40 years after the last Apollo mission, uh, had an astronaut on the moon. NASA is now openly talking about uh, setting up um, uh, a uh, mission for 2017, which would presumably be an unmanned mission, almost certainly be an unmanned mission. But after that, they are discussing setting up um, a lunar outpost eventually, decades from now, where, where our astronauts could live possibly for months and mine um, the surface for some of the things they need to sustain themselves. What are the political overtones that may be involved here? Well, this is a combination of, I think, some politics and also some scientific efforts. Um, the administration has not talked about going to the moon since they scrapped the program that the previous administration had to actually get us back to the moon and then on to Mars. The focus has all been on going to an asteroid or to Mars. But uh, in a speech this week, the number two NASA official and in a report that NASA gave to Congress, um, both of those stress that the moon is definitely a, a destination that, we're, that the U.S. should be interested in, in, uh, in going back. There are some political overtones. Florida is a very important swing state, and I think this NASA's direction is certainly an important political um, uh, discussion point in that state. So the, okay. I think the administration is trying to uh, sketch out an ambitious NASA program, and this is part of it. And you mentioned there are actually some ambitious goals that, that NASA has laid out in addition to talking about the moon. Of course, the, a manned asteroid landing you mentioned and potentially a manned mission to Mars, these are all not even on the drawing board yet. We're kind of talking about them uh, way in the future. That's right. How much, where's the financing for all this? How much does it cost? Is it, is it obviously maybe too soon to talk about this? Well, that's, of course, one of the biggest questions. None of these projects have guaranteed funding. They're many, many years out, and uh, a new president or a new administration can change and has changed NASA's direction in the past. So these are all sort of ambitions that NASA is sketching out, but it's important because um, what they're working on now in terms of new rockets and capsules and so on, if you don't do the work now, the early work, of course, you can't even think about these much more ambitious missions. But getting to Mars particularly has been discussed by this administration almost from the beginning, okay. and it's extremely ambitious. So. Great. Andy, I got, we, we got to run, sure. but thank you so much for, for joining us this morning. And thank you, everyone at home, for joining us on the News Hub.